Hi there. I've been using the SM Lite Zigbee coordinator for a while now, and Home Assistant has just upgraded the integration with 2024.10. So let's have a look what they've included. So the SM Lite integration was introduced in 2024.9 and has now been upgraded in 2024.10 with more entities. So you need one of the following coordinators in order to run this. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can get these. So having a look at the integration into Home Assistant, the first thing is we've got control over the LEDs. So if you wanna go into night mode, I'm assuming that will dim them down slightly and you can totally disable them if you prefer. I like have them flash away, they're in my kitchen and at least I know everything is working well. The VPN, this is a really cool function. It's also called WireGuard. This enables you to actually set up one of these coordinators in another location like your holiday home and control Zigbee devices from your home assistant where you are, which is pretty amazing. We've now got the updates available from within Home Assistant, so we can select this to auto update. We can also go in there and we can see what firmware we're on at the moment. So you can see we're, late, we're on the latest version of firmware at the moment. So we've got access both of the core firmware as well as the Zigbee radio firmware. And you can see that we can actually put it into flashing mode. If we wanted to flash it, for example, with another software, maybe to become a thread border router or something like that. We've then got a whole lot of sensors down the bottom here that we can read. So we can check what mode it is. Mine is currently in USB mode, but I've also got the Ethernet connection made so that I can access all of the diagnostics via the web page. We can see the temperature of the chip, um, the uptime. Uh, we can see that it is connected via Ethernet as well. Uh, we can see our file system usage, uh, check what's going on with the firmware channel. We can see it's connected to the internet. Uh, we can check our RAM usage, we can draw a little graph like that. Uh, we can also check whether the VPN or the Wi-Fi is set up. We've got Zigbee chip temperature. Uh, what type is it running at the moment? It's a coordinator and the uptime for some reason or other is currently not known. So we can also visit the device from here and then we can access the full web interface for this router. Now I'm just amazed with these coordinators that they are giving us access to so much information and customization on these devices. So I'm blown away by these. I would really recommend trying one of these out. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and I'll chat again soon. Bye for now.